All right, y'all. I called the York County Justice and Public Safety Committee meeting to order. All right, the first order of business will be discussion regarding council members attending community meetings and council workshop virtually. What can you tell us all about that? Well, I mean, I guess I'll start. I mean, uh, this was uh, referred to the committee after some discussion among the council as to whether uh, participation in some or all council meetings, committee meetings, workshops would be permissible. We had a uh, emergency ordinance that allowed some of that during uh, our COVID years, and um, but that is no longer on our books. It's no longer allowed. So um, we invited Dave Mathis from our IT department uh, to kind of help you with uh, some of the challenges we may have from a technology standpoint. But I mean, ultimately, it falls on the council to determine, um, along with legal's advice, as to whether you know the legality of participating in council meetings remotely. So, or electronically. So, any questions you may have, or do you, would you like Dave to talk about the uh, some of the technical issues now, or do you just want to ask questions? Probably ask questions. Um, you want to read what he was requesting? You? Yeah. So this is from another council member. Um, so um, he was suggesting that we allow council members to attend up to two meetings a year for a committee and two for a workshop um, and just because we're all busy and um, committee meetings have to be canceled because of one of, one of our three members has a conflict. Uh, that actually doesn't have to happen. We know that, don't we? And um, by approving up to two virtual attendance meetings, fewer meetings will have to be scheduled and the business of the people moves forward more quickly. So um, I, think, I think just quest question-wise, um, What's involved in setting up the, the like for somebody to be able to come in on Zoom, one person, and then how does the audience see that person, and how do the people at home, how do they see that? So the, the first aspect I'll talk about is that there's, there's, a, there's an extremely cost, first of all, that goes with this. Uh, this room would need to be set up to be able to do that, because I think you have workshops and stuff here, and also oh, yeah. the council chambers also, because it's not set up either. And just to give you a heads up on the cost for this room, we're looking at $65,000. Goodness gracious. Council chambers. We're looking at three hundred and thirty three plus thousand dollars. I almost done made my mind up. <laughs> Let's maybe, yeah, call maybe, for the vote. <laughs> and, and if I could maybe explain what's the difference between what you're suggesting and what we did during COVID. Yeah, that'd be good. Why why we were able to do it. Allison we can explain some of that. Why, what's the difference between what we're proposing to do with the new stuff versus what we did during COVID? So what we did during COVID is we made it work. Um, the system's not set up to handle it at all, which is why we had so many issues with it, which I'm sure you remember. Um, what this is going to do is do it correctly so we won't have issues with it um, because we have to be ADA compliant with it. So it has to get to assisted listening and to the live stream to be able to have closed captions. That's the main thing. Then we have to record it. Uh, we were relying on Zoom during COVID to record it. That's not a feasible option long term. So we also have to be able to record it. And then um, the main part that we had issues with during COVID was being able to get the person who was joining virtually on the screens in chambers. Um, it would cause feedback. It would cause all kinds of issues with audio. So this solution would eliminate all of those issues. Um, we would no longer be forcing a system to work. Speak. And when you say the person calling in, that would be the council member, Correct. primarily. <coughs> and and we're not we're not talking about having the public participate. No. So just the council members. Okay. And you said the cost for the council chamber was how much? Three hundred thirty-three thousand plus, and that's with um, with us purchasing the hardware and us doing the installation. Right. Mm. I think if we do it, he could just call on the telephone. You just might have to miss a couple meetings a year. 
And if you remember when we did this during COVID, we had to assign an IT person to go to each person's house or office to help them participate because the technology just, if there were issues, someone would need to be there to help them. Mm -hmm. um, and that. Do we need to vote? Do we need to vote for a recommendation to council? Uh, yeah, I think they need a recommendation from this okay. committee. Okay. Um, and would you say the cost for Heckle was? 60, 65, 65,000. I just don't see where it's that important to spend no money like that. Yeah. So I'm going to make a motion to, um, to um, not allow council members to attend committee meetings and council workshops virtually. Just Based, based on cost and inconvenience. I second. All right. Are we going to vote? Yeah. All, All in favor? Aye. Uh, <coughs> those opposed? Yeah. 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 Can I ask you something about my phone? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I call them all the time. <laughs> no. All right, the next item is discussion regarding the appearances before council. This is another item that uh, council had discussed generally uh, about. We have I guess a couple of sections in our, well actually it's three, right? In our agenda, you have the 30 minutes prior to council where people sign up for two minutes. They can come sign up, uh, speak on any topic related to county business for two minutes. We have uh, public presentations and that's typically somebody that is a county uh, employee or department head or affiliated with the county in some way that will make a presentation uh, and uh, somebody like Patrick Hamilton is making a pennies presentation or something like that would fall under that, that category. And then we have the public appearances, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Out of order, but. Public appearances, yeah, chronologically out of order, but appearances where People can call and request to be placed on the agenda to speak on an item uh, that pertains to county business. And uh, I think they had been previously limited to, to 10 minutes. And I think the question is, do we want to limit that further time-wise or if there's consideration about, in some cases, people have asked to speak on topics that involve litigation with the county that uh, we don't think is appropriate necessarily and some other limitations that we m might consider placing on that so um, I don't know if, if council members here have any thoughts on that or we need to hear from uh, so Michael Kendry on that. The one at the end is called, what is the one at the end called again? Citizens <coughs> Concerns. Citizens Concerns. Yeah. Okay so for Citizen yeah, Concerns I think there's several topics that, that um, first of all, the people have to wait till the very end of the meeting, which is um, somewhat by design because we don't want to interfere with what's on the agenda and that sort of thing. So um, but citizen concerns, I think there needs to be, um, and council can kind of decide, but I think there needs to be a, a limit to the number of times someone can come and speak. Um, I don't think that anyone should be making funding requests at that. I think that, that there's a time and a place for that that we provide. Um, and I think we could change from 10 minutes to six minutes and I agree that we should not have um, people coming that are in litigation with the county so they because what happens in these in these sessions is um, council can't speak or say anything can't respond so if somebody is in a lawsuit or um, has a lawsuit with the county they can come and talk and, and there's no response from the county so I think we would limit those those would be the items that I think we could um, um, limit. Michael, do you have any, anything else? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for asking. Um, the, the, the agenda of, of county business belongs to the county, so it's, a, it's the order of running your business. Okay. There's nothing in the ordinance that talks about what's appropriate for coming before council to make a, 
five, six, ten minute presentation currently. That doesn't mean you can't come present. You have two minutes. You have 30 minutes of two minute appearances. Mm -hmm. So to the extent it's not a business related item or something not germane to the agenda or the business of the county at the time, there's nothing in there that allows you to say, well, it's not appropriate for our agenda, a business meeting for this section, but you have two minutes, come, come here. So there needs to be, in my opinion, a little bit more explanation about how that agenda is set, why, and, and where presentations belong. It, currently, it's absent. Well, with us allowing the two-minute section in front, though, it wouldn't be anything that would get into the line of censor. No, and, that, and that's the whole, that's, that's the value of that two-minute presentation. It's not limiting the, the discussion. <coughs> it's just saying it's a the appropriate place would be two minutes, uh, make your case, and present it before council. And, and that way, you know, five minutes is a long time. Ten minutes is an eternity, particularly yeah. if it's something that's more adversarial. Than, than, and, right, <laughs> and, and, and if you keep repeating the same yeah. mm -hmm. issue over and over again. So the ordinance doesn't have any specificity currently in there, and that would be kind of wanting to flesh that out with greater detail. So, so I think the two minutes is, I'm going to take the two minutes. I think yeah. the two minutes is. Yeah, I bet it's just about a vacuum cleaner that quick. Yeah. And then the um, appearances, what if appearances were, so appearances are normally, are those normally county generated? Like does the county say we're going to have an appearance by the sheriff's office is doing something or, you know, Patrick's presenting? Is that yes. a, could and that be county? It could, it could be, and again, there's that. that's not really uh, expounded upon in the in the ordinance uh, well enough and um, just needs I think clarification on, on that point so should we should we just say what we think and then the whole council is going to we'll have a, dis a full, yeah, full, full discussion on this for yes. everybody okay okay all right so no, so basically kangaroo we just make a motion to send it to council for a full vote on. Oh, I'm going to make a recommendation. Recommendation yeah. some of the items. And then, they could, then there'll be a big discussion. I have a question though before you make your motion. You mentioned briefly about making county only appearances. Is that kind of where you're going with that? I was, I was thinking that they would be county, county. So my thought is what happens when the CBB wants to come talk or the mayor of Rock Hill or something like that? It's not a county employee necessarily where would we put uh, them public agencies governmental yeah. agencies yeah, those types yeah. Of, yeah so like should we should we send it to a discussion workshop before we no we don't need to workshop every time i think you can mm -hmm. direct a, a draft ordinance with some of the recommendations that have been talked about here mm -hmm. i will mention there needs to be clarity on when present items that are being presented to council, such as PowerPoints, need to be <coughs> presented to the clerk to review. Subject matters need to be disclosed. I, I think because there is such a wide range of, of issues, uh, the council needs to be aware of what topics will be presented um, and where it's appropriate on its agenda. And, so and is, there, that. is the timeline good, Karen, for when they have to get those things to you? Is all that that's all that's fine? So, okay. I mean, currently. They have to, if they're going to do a PowerPoint, they have to give it to me at the time of their request. Okay. So, which is at least seven days prior to our. So they need to make a request. That's for that's for citizen concerns and appearances. Would be a seven day, seven day. That's kind of how it's and I was going to suggest, excuse me for interrupting, okay. making it ten days since your county staff has to get things in ten days in advance. Okay. So I would think that would be corresponding <laughs> okay. uh, time wise with that. All right. With um, presentations at that time. Yeah. Okay, so, all right, so I'm going to make a motion um, that we consider for, that we consider for, consi for citizen concerns, for the, consi oh, for the <laughs> citizen concerns section of this agenda, um, that we consider the number of times that someone could speak. Okay. Um, that we um, not allow funding requests. 
that we, um, and all of this can be changed by council, this is just my motion, that we limit those to six minutes and that we not allow um, people who have with litigation um, with, with York County to, to speak, no, no, no one that's, has a litig that's got litigation. Um, and then also for our appearances section, um, those would be um, county, public agencies, and government agencies, or any at the request of council, of, of county, of York County. Does that make sense? Okay. And, um, and for both of those sections, we would um, need a 10-day advance notice, and the presentation would be due at that time. Calendar yeah. days? Is that what we're talking about? What? Calendar days? Or? Yeah. Okay, is that, that the motion? You done? Yeah. Okay, I'll uh -huh. second. All right. And make the recommendations in the council then. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh -huh. automatically coming to council. All right. Yeah. So I second. So, so we vote? Yeah. We vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now follow up discussion regarding the special fire tax district AUP as agreed upon. Dave? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to start off with a request that we go into executive session for the purpose of receiving legal advice related to this. I don't know if there's, is there more information needed for that motion, Michael? No, uh, sir. Okay, so I make a motion that we go into executive session for legal advice. Are we going? Do we, yeah, so everybody doesn't have to move. We'll move. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Stay okay. Here. okay. I need a second. I need a second. David, can you second that? Second. I second. Okay. All in favor? Bring the paper. 